Kuikerhancha. The Kuikerhancha, Old Dutch for small cager dog, is a small spaniel type breed of dog of Dutch ancestry that was originally used as a working dog, particularly in an Aandan Kaoi, duck cage, to lure ducks. Kuikers were popular in the 17th and 18th century and appeared in the paintings of Rembrandt and Jan Steen. The breed is rapidly gaining popularity in the United States, Canada, and Scandinavia, where it is still relatively unknown. Description Appearance The Kui Kurhancha is a small, flashy, orange and white spaniel-like sporting dog. Originally bred in the Netherlands as a duck decoy dog, its heavily white plume tail waves jauntily to entice and lure ducks to follow it into a Denka Oi, elaborate man-made pond trapping systems. When not working the traps, Kuikers were expected to work on the farm to catch vermin. The preferred height at the withers is 40 cm, 16 inches in the USA, for males and 38 cm, 15 inches in the USA, for females. The FCI standard allows variation of 38 to 41 cm for males, 36 to 39 cm for females. Data allowable size in the United States is 14.5 to 17.5 inches for males, 13.5 to 16.5 inches for females. The proportion of the kuiker is off square. The bone and substance of the kuiker is moderate. The head should be in proportion to the dog. The expression is gentle and alert. Ears should be orange red in color and well feathered and ideally adorned with earrings. The color for the kuiker should preferably be distinct patches of clear orange red on pure white although a few small spots on the legs are acceptable. Color should be predominate on the back with the chest, belly, blaze and the majority of the legs and tail white. Black ear a black tail ring where the color changes from orange red to white is permitted. A dog who has solid red on the back is acceptable but not preferred. Temperament Cheerful, good-natured, friendly, quiet, well-behaved, and alert. Those are terms that are used to describe the Kui Kerhancha. Depending on its domestic environment, it is kind, happy and lively. They are also intelligent, attentive and more than willing to please their owner. The Kui Kerhancha adapts to situations rather quickly, changing his behavior from quiet to lively when the situation allows him to be. He will not always immediately like strangers, instead choosing to retreat. But once he warms up to someone, the trust will be there for the rest of his life. The Kuiker Hancha can make a fine apartment dog if exercised regularly, but a fenced yard will be more ideal. He has a medium energy level, yet is usually quiet when indoors. Kuiker Hancha can be reactive with strange dogs and are wary of boisterous children, in general. Health Kuikers have good appetites and a tendency to put on weight easily. Their lifespan is 12 to 15 years on average. As Kuiker Hancha have a small genetic base, hereditary diseases are somewhat prevalent. These include Today, due to a lot of hard work in the national clubs, most kuikers used for breeding are free from von Willebrand's disease. Most national clubs require both male and female dogs to be free from this disease to be allowed to breed. Patellar luxation is not a major problem in most countries at the moment, but is kept under a close watch to prevent it from becoming a problem again. In the Netherlands, eye tests are available and all breeders breeding according to the breed club's rules have to test their dogs. Only dogs that are free of eye diseases are allowed to be used for breeding. Testing for ENM became available in 2012. In the Netherlands, only dogs who are tested may be used for breeding. Only allowed breedings are free X free or free X carrier. Carrier to carrier should never be done as the risk of this fatal disease is high. Puppy purchasers should inquire about the ENM status of the parents. History the Kuiker Hansha was developed in the Netherlands sometime prior to the 16th century to be a breed to lure ducks into traps, a technique also called tolling. They were used to lure queen cages in the form of canals with traps at the ends, where the hunter, the so-called Kuiker, could easily catch the fowl. The dogs that were used by the Kuiker for this kind of hunting technique, were referred to as the Kuiker's Hunch, literally, Kuiker's dogs. Eventually this led to this dog being called Kuiker Hansha. The breed almost became extinct during World War II until Baroness Van Hardenbroek van Amerstel rescued it. The breed was only officially recognized by the Rod van Beheer, the Dutch Kennel Club, in 1971 and has since been imported into other countries and recognized officially. The breed is still relatively unknown in North America and not yet recognized as a breed in Canada, although it was accepted into the AKC's FSS program, in 2004. The breed was moved to the AKC miscellaneous class on July 1, 2015 in preparation to moving to the sporting group upon full recognition. As of Jan 1, 
2018, the Nederlandse Kuikerhansje has been fully recognized by the American Kennel Club and is now competing in the sporting group. In the United States, both the UKC and ARBA recognize the breed. In the UK, the breed has been removed from the import list and is now eligible to enter Crufts for the Best in Show Award, despite there being only 76 of the breed in the UK. In January 2013, the Kennel Club announced it was reclassifying the Kuiker Hancha from the Gundog Group to the Utility Group effective from January 2014. The decision was reached after discussions with the UK breed clubs and unanimous agreement was achieved. Some historians believe the Kuiker Hancha may have possibly played a part in the development of the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, 